start slow. You want us to push you? I got two in the truck. Stop. Yeah, dude, I'm. It, there's no hill. <laughs> yeah, we'll, put, we'll give you a push if it works. <laughs> Just the two of you push? Yeah. That'd be great. 39 degrees this morning and beautiful. We camped here right here by this lake and it was a very peaceful place. We're in Montana, we're in Seely Lake, Montana, riding to, what's it called? Lakeside. To Lakeside, uh, today about a hundred and something miles. Yeah. Gonna stop and see a friend who lives up here. The ride has been great. It was a cold morning, so I'm waiting for it to warm up enough. The sun is now out, so I'm about to hit it. It's bear protection mode now. Everyone's seeing bears and uh, lots of signs. So, got the bear spray close. Do you have it? You're taking it. You have it? <laughs> we don't have bear spray at the moment, but it's on the bike. <laughs> it's gonna be great today. Look how beautiful Montana is. Are you ready to experience adventure? Let's ride. Right, let's do it. Ready? Yeah. Hit it. You guys are awesome. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, come on. Ride that thing, dude. Ride it. All right, man. See ya. Now let's ride. <laughs> I mean, this is Montana. This is what you think of when you think of Montana. Hey, How you doing? I'm good. How are you? What you got there, pit bull? Looks like. <laughs> <laughs> he was a grizzly too. Really, mm -hmm. big grizzly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, did you see the the first gay you see? Yeah. And that's what he was coming. All right, I'm gonna look for him then. <laughs> she was telling me they saw bears just down here. Oh yeah, I saw one. Uh, we we're really close to home, you know, like half hour from home. But I saw one this spring over here. Really? Yeah. You gotta watch. I mean, there's this is the Swan Valley is known for grizzly bears. Yeah. 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 Well, I hope I see one. Bear down here. This is a good black bear hunting area. Really? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just winding my way through these back roads here in Montana. It's been very pleasant. The roads are super easy and smooth. Hey, you all right? Yeah, good, uh, all right, cool. All right, good. That was a little random to have a guy in the middle of nowhere just taking a walk. Yeah, I don't think he had bear spray on him. I didn't see any anyway. I'm just winding my way through the Montana wilderness. The roads are really smooth. I'm going over creeks, but there's bridges. Uh, it, could, it really couldn't be any easier. But you're in the middle of the wilderness here, so it's, most of the time, there's, it's kind of hard to see other than what's on the road, because the woods are pretty thick pretty dense so if there's wildlife uh, I'm missing it I've seen a quite a few deer but no bear no moose no Sasquatch <laughs> now there's a good view Turn. 
and it got rocky and kind of rutted out but I'm not complaining I kind of like it and it's not too bad the rocks aren't too sharp like I was experiencing yesterday or the day before whenever that was hello Montana wow this is more than I paid for this is great I didn't expect this y'all have any luck Okay. Not today. <laughs> Nothing, huh? No. I got you. Wolf and bear sign. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Thank you. This thing's been good to me. They're not responding, huh? No. Yet. A little early, you think? They're afraid to talk. The elk are afraid to talk because the wolves are coming after. Ah. Oh. So then, then you got to deal with them, and they just they'll drive a herd of elk just nuts because they're like a they're just always just pestering them yeah i am seeing a bmw come down this road that is that is not what i expected i'm telling you i am miles and miles from anything i've seen very few people out here today i've seen uh one car a bmw which was random one truck a person on a afternoon walk a couple of hunters I think I saw a bicycle early th earlier this morning but that's about it yeah today's a really fun one we're really in the thick part of the wilderness here and it's just miles and miles of of this I mean I've been looking at this all day and that is not a complaint that is just uh, that's just how it is and, and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm only a couple days away from making my way up to Canada and then maybe a day or two, not really sure, to get up to Banff. Long days on the bike, I have a lot of time to think and one of the things I've been thinking about was you hear about this idea of it's not the destination, it's the journey. I, I don't agree with that. I think that without a destination, the journey can be pointless. And here's the thing, you have to have a destination with most, thing, with most things in life. You gotta declare what the goal is. And sometimes without that, you just kind of run aimlessly. But if you determine what the destination is, then what happens is you, create this environment where adventure can happen and let me explain if I say I'm going to go to Canada then I'm gonna go no matter what happens along the way whether the bike breaks down or whether I crash or whatever if I'm physically able and the bike is mechanically able I'm gonna get there but because I've had some of these conflicts along the way I have to push through and that's where I find adventure. It's those challenges. It's those tough times that I have to go through, work at it, and just refuse to give up. That's where you find adventure. That's just one part of adventure, but if I didn't have a destination, those parts uh, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be able to have those because I would just be like, ah, oh, whatever. I'm just going to ride this way or I'm going to go home or that's enough. But no, I think the best part about it is overcoming and just keep going so is it the destination or is it the journey the answer is yes it's both and both are important the destination must be determined because if it's worth doing then you know you've got a target you've got a goal and then you have fun doing it even if it's hard even if it's difficult so is it true that the destination doesn't matter, it's the journey. No, I think that's kind of nonsense. It's both. Uh, look, coffee shop. It's like I've gotten back to some blacktop, some sort of highway here. But I think it might be a good idea to see if they have anything to, for me to drink. I'll take a cappuccino if you have any left. I, do. I can I can scrounge some up. Yeah, what size would you like? Uh, just a small one. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm glad I got here in time. It looks like you have cookies. I do have cookies. You know, I'll be honest, I've never had a cookie. You have like 10 cookies. I've had four, but never a cookie. <laughs> okay, I have some news for you. If you're doing the Continental Divide, whether it's a bicycle or a motorcycle, stop here. This is Ferndale, just outside of Big Fork. And guess what? They'll let you camp here for free. They're currently building an outhouse and a little bit of a, an area for travelers to rest right here. You can charge your phone, free water, just different things. So it's called County Line Coffee right here in Ferndale, Montana. So there's a little pro tip for you. I just got new information from the uh, owner here at this coffee shop. She was super nice. Tell her I sent you and she might be able to find uh, a cappuccino laying around. My friend Jeff just gave me his bike and said there's a motocross track. Nice moto. I'm tired. I feel good. I had to take a break. I was getting arm pumped because this suspension's super cross. It's real tight and uh, stiff. It's not my bike, so it's hard to get comfortable on it. I have no visor. Well, I do. It's just opaque when it hits the bump and goes over my eyes. But I had a blast out here in Montana on this motocross track. This is adventure. It's the end of the day and we got meat on the grill. I'm sore from riding motocross. Are you? <laughs> We're ending the day here with new friends and some old friends. We're here uh, eating good today. Connie Asada. It was a great day. If you're liking these videos, please like, please subscribe. There's a lot more adventure coming. adventure click on this